What's up, gang? Case here with our at-home Metcon for Monday, October 19th. We've got two five-minute AMRAPs, 200-meter run, 10 press-through sit-ups, 10 push-ups for, for your first five minutes. Then we're going to take a two-minute rest, followed up by your second five minutes, same 200-meter run, but this time we're going 15 elevated put or not push-ups, sit-ups first, 15 sit-ups into 15 elevated push-ups. We'll talk about rhyme and reason behind that in just a moment. Let's talk about running first. Shorter AM wraps today, so I want you guys pushing that run. One tip there, don't make your stride longer to push your run. Try to keep about the same uh, turnover cadence uh, as you go, so same uh, step rate. Um, but try to lean forward a bit more. Uh, that way you're going to have to catch up as uh, gravity starts to pull you forward. That'll carry your run uh, a bit faster. So uh, good posture, but leaning forward, quick turnover on those feet. Let that forward lean carry you forward on that run today. Moving to press through sit-ups. These do not need to be heavy. Prescribe weight on these roughly 20 and 15 pounds. The way these are going to work, ideally, knees are bent. If you don't have that ab mat at home, remember, you can fold a towel into thirds, and that will get you pretty close. Objects are going to start right over your sternum. Try to keep your feet down, and then as you sit up, you're going to press this object straight overhead and finish with your fists over the back of your head, arms long. From there, you'll roll back down. Object stays over the sternum. Press up, chest through, reach at the top. If you're not able to get up without these heels coming off the ground, we can go straight leg and still execute that same press through sit up. Moving to push ups. Ideally, feet together on these, hands just beneath the shoulders, twist out towards those pinkies, that corkscrew pressure we talked about. That keeps the shoulder away from the ear. Just like we did in that RKC plank, keep those knees straight. It's going to lock those quads. Squeeze your butt as well. Elbows stay tight to the side, keeping the back of the neck long, not letting it sag, not looking up. You can add a toddler to your back for some added resistance if you would like. After that, um, or one more thing on that, if you're sinking up at all, Go ahead and elevate on those. I do want that first AMRAP to be today to be relatively difficult on those push-ups. So even if you've got to do five and five, get yourself to that method. It's going to make those reps tough, but keep that good plank. Keep your full range of motion. Two-minute rest. Try to get your heart rate back down as much as possible. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. And then we're going to go into our next five-minute AMRAP, 200-meter run. Push that run again. But this time, we're going to go 15 sit-ups. So we're dropping down the movement difficulty so that you can move a little bit quicker, and that's why the reps are going up. Sit-ups can be bent knee, straight leg, or butterfly, touching the ground behind us, throwing our elbows towards our hips, and then reaching forward so that our shoulders get, get forward of our hips each time. Breathe in on the way back out on the way up to help get in plenty of oxygen as well as regulate that heart rate. And then we've got 15 push-ups. Here's my thing for push-ups. I want this second AMRAP, all of your push-ups to be unbroken. If you're strong on push-ups and you can knock out 15 unbroken on the ground, go for it. But if you know you're going to have to break, swallow that ego today, go ahead and elevate up and make sure that you can rep these out quickly looking for fast reps um, on this second portion today. Two scores today, rounds and reps for your first five minutes, rounds and reps for your second five minutes. Good luck, and we'll see you back tomorrow for a longer workout with multiple Tabatas.